Examples. Find the functions that describe the relationship between X and Y in the following sets of ordered pairs. So we have part A and part B. So which one are we going to answer together between part A and part B? Part A. Part A. Part A. Yes. Okay. Then part B, we are going to have a volunteer. <coughs> so now they want us to make the relationship that uh, describe these ordered pairs. So now what we are going to do is we are going to apply the general equation of the straight line, which is y equal to m x plus c. c. That's correct. So now in this equation, y represents the y value of the coordinates. M represents the gradient, X represents the X value of the coordinate, then C it is the Y intercept or constant. So now how do we find M? So M is obtained by Y2 minus C, Y1 over X2 minus C, X1. So that's the formula for gradient. So now we are required to pick at least two consecutive coordinates, two consecutive coordinates. Yeah, if we consider one. the first two co coordinates, then it means we shall label the first coordinate as x1, y1, the second coordinate as z, x2, y2. Or if you want, you can consider any of the coordinates you want, but they should be consecutive. Consecutive, which means they should be next to each other, not so. So which one are we going to use? The first two or the last two coordinates? The first two. The first two coordinates. So we are going to label x1, y1, x2, y2. So now gradient equal to y2 minus c, y1 over x2 minus c x1 what is the y2 from the data negative one negative one negative one minus y1 negative three over x2 negative one negative one minus x1 negative two so M equal to what is negative times negative? Positive. So it will be negative one plus e, three over negative times negative. Positive. Negative one plus e, two. There. Yes. Now what is negative one plus e, three? Two. Negative two. Different two. signs you subtract. What are we getting? Two. Two. Positive two. Positive two. two. Then what is two minus one? Positive one. Positive one. So our gradient here will be two. two. So now, after finding the gradient or the value of m, now we shall pick one coordinate to find the y-intercept. Let's pick any coordinate from negative the one set. Comma negative, one. negative one, comma negative one. So now, in this equation, the general equation of the straight line, we shall label the first a numbers x then the second as y we know that a coordinate is written as x comma y so now what is the value of y from the coordinate there negative one y negative equal one two. equal to what is gradient two. two what is the value of x negative one negative one plus e, c is our subject so now negative one equal to two times negative one negative two Negative 2 plus C. So now this negative 2 cross equal sign. 
So we shall have negative 1 plus, plus C, 2 equal to C. C. Clear? Yes, now what is negative 1 plus C? 2. 2. One, sir. One, two. Yeah. Positive 1. one. So now, after finding the y-intercept, which is the c equal to 1, so now we have to bring back the general equation of the straight line, we conclude the function. Therefore, y equal to mx plus c. So now in this equation, we are going to replace where there is m with a 2, two. and where there is c with a 1. one. Then we are done. So y equal to what is m? 2 plus a c 1. one. Now remember we said uh, y is equivalent to f of m. x. So now where there is y, we are going to replace f of x. So f of x equal to 2x plus 1. So this is the relationship we have found.